Welcome to geometry, geometry. Kind of like paintball, but not the same thing. What we gonna do is learn some math. It's a whole lot better than smoking some crack. This one time I met a guy. Said he don't like math, so I asked why. He said, man, it's boring and it's hard to do. I'd rather skip class and say I got the flu. Man, that's lame. You sound like a pansy. When you'll be 40, you'll be counting on your handsies. So get your head right. Stop crying, little girl. We're gonna ride this thing like Depp rode the Black Pearl. Hey, guess what? I'm wearing the same clothes as yesterday, but guess what? This is a recording, mm, dummy. <sighs> I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to him. You and her. You. You. Alright, next page of notes. What are we on? Notes page. <laughs> notes page 30. Notes page 30. Don't get flirty. Cause it's a class period when you should be working. Call your mom, tell her I said hi. Write this down or I'll punch you in the eye. Just kidding, won't punch you in the eye. Conditions for parallelograms, okay? Yesterday we talked a little bit about a parallelogram. We know a parallelogram is a quadrilateral, which has four sides. Opposite sides are parallel, opposite sides are congruent, Opposite angles are congruent, the uh, consecutive angles are supplementary, and the diagonals are congruent. Okay, so going on to conditions for parallelograms. Now you're thinking, what the jazz does this even mean? What does it mean conditions? Yesterday we talked about properties of parallelograms. What does it mean if I had a condition? I mean, my parents say I have a condition, but I see a psychiatrist for it. But it's not a condition in parallelograms, so, I mean... <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is, yesterday we said, hey, this is a parallelogram. So you were like, oh, all this stuff is true. Now, we're looking at a quadrilateral, which means it's just four sides. And we're going to say, if this is true, then guess what? This is a parallelogram. Okay, whatever. All right, so pretty much what we're starting with is we've got ourselves a quadrilateral, a four-sided figure, okay? If in our quadrilateral the opposite sides are parallel and if they're congruent, then guess what? Then it's a parallelogram, which I'm just going to draw the picture for parallelogram, but I'll write it as well, because you probably don't know that. Because you wake up in a new day every day, and you don't know what's going on. All right, so we know that. That's the first thing, okay? Opposites are congruent. Now, if, now, now with there we said if they're parallel and congruent, then guess what? It's a parallelogram. This one, that's an ugly little thing I drew. If we know the opposite sides are congruent, like those are congruent and those are congruent, which means if they're the same, then guess what? That's enough information right there to tell us it's a parallelogram. All right, just for future reference, that means parallelogram. I'll write it in here. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of writing. All right, now. Anybody think of a, pair, a quadrilateral that we know the opposite sides are congruent? I don't know, a rectangle? I don't know, uh, maybe a square? Welcome to first grade. All right. Yeah, guess what those two are? They're both parallelograms, okay? So whoop de doo da day. So we've got that one and that one. We know if their opposite sides are parallel and congruent, then they're congruent. We also know that if the opposite sides are just congruent, then guess what? It's a parallelogram. And I think I said the wrong thing a second ago. If I did, just ignore it. It's not like you were listening anyways. And if I hadn't said anything, you wouldn't even know. And you were just like, oh, just talking about talk. Oh. All right, whatever. Third thing. Okay? If we have a quadrilateral, a quadrilat, quadrilat, a quadrilateral, and we know the opposite angles are congruent, if they're the same, like if that's, I don't even know, that's 60 and that's 60, and oh, well, you know they're supplementary, so that'd be like 120. And that's 120. Guess what? Then we know it's a parallelogram. OK, 
Okay? So, opposite sides are congruent, or opposite angles are congruent, then we know it's congruent. All right? If you haven't noticed a pattern, um, I'll tell you one thing. A lot of the properties, pretty much what we're doing is we're taking the properties and we're switching them. Okay? That's for conditions. All right? Whatever. All right? Now, say this angle right here is 80 degrees. This is 100. This is 80. This is 100. Okay? Now, what do I know about those two consecutive angles? What do they add up to equal? Oh my goodness, they equal 180. What do those add up to equal? 180. What do those two add up to equal? 180. What do those two bottom ones add up to equal? 180. Guess what? If they're all supplementary, surprise, surprise, we got you a car. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. We don't care about you that much. Then it's a parallelogram. Last thing. Okay? What? Ah, oh, dang it. Alright. Alright, now, the diagonals here, if we have a quadrilateral, and these diagonals bisect each other, which means that cuts the middle of that, and it cuts the middle of this, then guess what? Or then it's a parallelogram. So pretty much a safe bet to say is if it's got any of these things or about it that are like a parallelogram on true on it, then it's a parallelogram. I was just gonna see this video is really just a test that I can uh, mess up like 50 bazillion times and still just show you anyways. Uh, whatever. You missed. That's what one of y'all supposed to say. If one of y'all said it, everybody smile at that person real big. <laughs> Alright, well, for my last trick, I'm going to disappear. Uh...